It's hard making money out of music. You know, I mean, I was sensible years ago that I invested money. I didn't stick it all up my nose like many of my contemporaries. So I, I was sensible about it because um, thinking further ahead, you know, I mean, I certainly couldn't predict quite how bad the music industry would become, but I had a, I was sensible enough to think ahead. And I was never, you know, I never money obsessed anyway. The freedom to do what I wanted to do was always important to me. I do feel very sorry for younger bands nowadays. Unless you want to any, go on the road permanently, and who wants to do that? And even then, can you make a decent living at it? You know, so I feel very alarmed about my industry. The record labels did not take care of the industry. You know, they, they didn't anticipate correctly the digital revolution, and then they gave everything away to Apple, and then they doing dodgy deals with Spotify, whatever. And of course, the artists are always the one that get screwed over, it seems. You get these digital statements. They're that thick. But wow, and there's about 500 quid at the end of it all, but you're earning 0 0.00003 pennies. Somebody's making money. I mean, Spotify have got, apparently got these massive flash offices. They all drive around in new BMWs or whatever. You know, so somebody's getting money from somewhere, money that should be going to the artists. So I know a lot of young songwriters, yeah. and I often give people advice, and I feel very... So one thing I say to them is don't sign your rights away for a start. You know, if you sign a record contract, get reversion of all your rights. Take smaller deals, smaller advances, keep your costs down, and get better royalties and get reversion because you don't know how the industry is going to change but you, you need to own your rights, you need to be in control so that's the first bit of advice I get and also send them along to a decent lawyer to look after them. Who knows where it's going to go, it's like the, the genie's out the bottle now isn't it, I mean it's like how the hell, you know the music industry, you know the, 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 the download speed is going to get faster and faster you know and downloading a whole album is like downloading a sort of a sort of text document, isn't it? It's going to take, you know, the, mu the, mu the, the film industry is next heading towards the shredder. So how we protect this, I don't know. I mean, it's all very well for, uh, you know, people to want everything for free, but I don't think people are thinking about the long-term health of the industry. I think unless a better deal is done with the likes of Apple and Spotify, I don't know. I think that the industry should have stood firm and the record industry as a whole, they should have worked together. All the labels, majors and independents are just like, boom, absolutely not, and played bloody hardball with YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and say, pay up, or they, they, then those, those formats and those outlets would have withered away. The exciting thing, of course, in this day and age, is that there's a, if you if artists choose to exercise it, there's so much freedom with the technology that's available, the connection you can instantly have with your audience around the world. I just think we need a fair system, so that you know, not a greedy system that we don't want greed, but we want fairness, so that so that the audience pay reasonable amount that they feel comfortable with, and the artists get paid a decent amount that they can live a decent life afford their equipment, have a studio and, and tour and live and live a decent life. I did this, this song on a box set and I ended up worse off because they put all the cost onto me, the remastering, the repackaging. So it was like, I mean, more in debt to them. I've been busy for the last six, seven years particularly, but not been writing any songs or finishing any songs. You know, I've been, I don't know what the block is there, whether it's... Um, I did mention to someone about fear of success. It's it's not fear of failure. I mean, I've done it enough times, but maybe fear of success. Do I want to go through, um, you know, I've done all these world tours, I've been on television, I've done all that stuff. Do I, I don't have the same burning desire or urge I did when I was 20, for instance. I'm always doing stuff. I'm always writing for myself and, and being creative. But the trouble is, when you've had success in a certain field at a certain period of time, you get trapped in amber shall we say and people continue to want you to be who you were but that's what you're up against people's nostalgia people always because they tie you into a certain period of their life and maybe music being a very evocative um, stimulant in terms of memories people naturally then I do it myself you know you, we all tie things into certain parts of our life and so nothing I can do can ever come up to you know, well, why don't you make another record like Soul Money? Well, I'm not 20 anymore, you know, I'm not, I'm not yeah. the same person. Not to say I don't want to do another album and possibly do some shows, but it will be different.